Today we are going to create this rotating icon motion graphics animation in After Effects. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and you can see that I've already downloaded a couple of these icons. So these are just some transparent PNG images. So I downloaded these from SVG repo. If you want, you can go to this website and from here you can get opalized SVG icons. So you can just select whatever you want and download them in PNG file so that they have transparent background. After that, just import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. So first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main width the night 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps duration. You can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. First, let's create our background. So right click new, let's add a solid and just click on OK. On this one, let's apply four color gradient. So let's search for four and let's drag it over here. I'm going to change its color. Let's change this to like this and this one we can make it like probably black and the screen we can make it black as well. Something like that. Now we can like move these little bit out. Perfect. So here we have this. Now let's create a shape layer. So first I'm going to draw an ellipse. Now I can just simply click and drag. Hold on the shift key to create a perfect circle. Something like this. Now let's align it to the center using the align panel like that. Now there is one more thing. We are going to like make it 3D to have little bit of extrusion. So in order to have that just go to composition settings and under the 3D render I'm going to switch this from classic 3D to cinema 4D after that just click on OK. Now if you don't want to have like 3D depth then it's completely up to you. You can just simply go with the normal look as well. Now I'm going to animate it scale. So let's add a keyframe for scale and let's just make it quite big. So let's just scale this up something like that. Now let's move somewhere around one second and I'm going to like make it a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit more like that. Yeah, I think this looks good. Perfect. Now we can select these keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. Now if your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. And I'm going to like change the graph to look something like that. So. I think this looks good. Perfect. Maybe a little bit more. Nice. Now we can have our text as well. So let's select the text tool and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to like simply type high and let's just make it like medium. Perfect. Let's align it to the center as well. Nice. Now we can animate its position. So let's press P. Let's add a keyframe. And in the beginning, I'm going to like move it down below. And we're going to like change its easing as well. Let's change it to like this. So here we have our high coming in. You can probably like make it. Yeah, I think this looks good. So now we want this shape layer to be 3D. So we can click over here. Now I'm going to make this 3D as well. And let's parent it to the shape layer. So you can see that it will also animate like this. Now we are ready to rotate this out, but first we need to have a little bit of depth. So if I go inside this, you can see we have geometry, we have geometry option and under here we have this extrusion. Now you can like extrude it a little bit, but you won't be able to see anything. But if I press R and let's just rotate it along the X or Y axis, let's along the Y axis. You can see we are able to see some depth. Now you can play around with however you want. So let's increase this to something like let's set this to 50. I think this looks good. Perfect. Now we are ready to add some colors to this because you can see that this is white and this is white as well. So for that, you can like go under the content. And if I go to add, you can see we have this front side back. So I'm going to add a color to the side. So go to site and let's add a color. Now it will give you an error because we have to move everything into a group. So let's create an empty group and I'm going to like place this ellipse to inside this. Now we can select this group and let's just create a side material, side color like that. Now let's add a back color as well. So go to back and let's add a back color. Now for the back color, I'm going to like make it this very bright sort of this. Now side color, we can make it similar and then let's just make it a little bit dull like that. Perfect. So here we have this. Now we can animate its rotation. So let's press R and I'm going to like set this to zero like that. Now let's press U. So somewhere around here, we can have like start animating. So let's key add a keyframe. So go to somewhere around here and I'm going to like set it to something like 60 or 70 like that. Let's go to somewhere around here and I'm going to like completely rotate it 
to something like that let's set this to negative one now if i press play you can see we have this coming up and after that it will rotate like this now we can select these keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor now in the beginning we can like make it start slow and let's just keep it fast over here perfect yeah i think this looks good now you will notice one more thing that the text becomes like less visible somewhere around here and reason for that is because it is like right next to this so we can press p and we can like have a little bit of position animation or the keyframe so let's just go to this point and instead of like completely up to this let's just do it over here i can like move it a little bit up so we have to set it in the negative direction so let's go to over here and i'm going to set this to negative one like that now it will be like a little bit up front of this so it will it won't fade away like that so here we have this and it rotates and we basically want this to be on the opposite side so i'm going to like have a little bit of more rotation so let's set this to negative 180 like that so now it will rotate and it will have this perfect so now we are ready to add our logo now let's add our logo so let's drag it over here and you can see it has a little bit of color so i'm going to like just apply a plain fill let's drag it over here and i'm going to set this to white now let's just scale this down and let's just fit it to this icon something like that yeah i think this looks good perfect let's make it 3d as well now you can see that it will disappear and we can like easily make it come back by simply pressing p and let's just move it like a little bit outside this so somewhere around here we are just playing with the z position so now you can see we have this now there is one more thing we can parent it to this shape as well so now it will like keep rotating with it perfect so here we have this now once you're done with this we can like simply have a cursor coming in and then click on this and we will have like bunch of different circles around this so let's create the circle animation first so for that we can select this shape layer and let's press ctrl d to duplicate this now i'm going to like move this to the top and i'm going to press u and let's remove all the keyframes because we want the circle to be same size and let's create a bigger circle so let's select the shape tool just click and drag now let's create a bigger circle something like that and let's change the fill to none and i'm going to have a little bit of stroke set this to white let's set this to like two just to have an outline like that let's align it to the center as well perfect so this is where we will have like other circles so let's just place it somewhere around here like this now we can animate it later on let me just quickly change its color so let's make it yellow so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue now we can select this shape and we can like duplicate it four times because we want four circles one over here one this side one this side one this side let's duplicate this like three more times by pressing ctrl d now we can select this press p for position let's add keyframe and let's move like one second or one and a half second now we can start changing their position now we can move one over here to this side so that its middle point is exactly on this line like that now you can see that all of these have like 3d depth but if you want you can like go with this if you don't want you can like set the extrusion depth to zero uh, for this one let's keep it like that because it gives a little bit of 3d depth so once you're done with this we are ready to like move all of these to these lines as well so let's move this one to the top we have to do this for all the all of these fours now we have added four circles and you can see as these are like coming out we can have some size animation onto this as well let's animate it size instead of scale because we want the strokes to be similar so let's add keyframes and i'm going to like move it to this point and in the beginning set this to zero like this so all of these will start growing like that perfect now we can have like bigger circle and more circles around it so for that we can just simply select everything let's press ctrl d and i'm going to like place all of these to the top 
like that now we can select these press u and first i'm going to like select this one and let's make it bigger so something around this looks good maybe a little bit less like that now we can select these and just move them to the outer point like this and do the same thing with all of these others now you can see we cannot move these circles because this circle line is like not visible so but we can do one thing we can like have position for this one so let's select this and let's press p for its position and we can have position of this one as well so let's select this press p for position and we can have like what difference they have so you can see it's 599.1 and this is 269.1 and we can like simply subtract these values so here i have this calculator and let's just quickly subtract these values so we have 599 minus 269 and we get this 330 so what we have to do is basically move these these ones over here all i have to do is like subtract this 330 like minus 330 from this to make it to the top and in this one we can like simply add it so for this we can add 330 because we are moving down perfect so here we have these aligned as well now we can have like little bit of more of these like somewhere around here at these points so for that we can like select any of these press ctrl d to duplicate this now let's just move it using our arrows keys so you can like roughly place it wherever you think that it might look good yeah i think this looks good now we can duplicate these and just simply move them to these sides so here we have all of these circles now if i press play you can see all of these are like coming out like that now there is one more thing we can like move all of these circles to the top of this and we can do the same thing over here as well so let's select all of these and let's just move them to the top like that now these lines are like below these so now we are ready to ease them out so let's select all of these let's press u and we can select all of these keyframes and let's just ease them by pressing f9 let's go to the graph editor again it's completely up to you, you can change the graph to look however you want for this one we can like make them a little bit faster in the beginning and have a little bit of gradual ease at the end something like that yeah this looks good we can probably move them like a little bit far away like this perfect so here we have our animation now we are ready to add icons to this so adding icon is very easy all we have to do is like go to this point where everything is like in the center now we can like start adding icons so let's drag one icon like on top of all of these layers so we will place one to this point and let's place one on top of this layer so we are placing icons on the alternate layers here we have all the icons now we can have like fill color to these so let's just pick this one and i'm going to like change the fill color to white now we can copy this and just paste it onto all of these icons like that now we can trim them hold on the alt key and the right square bracket to trim them from the beginning now we can press s let's just scale them down so that these look good in this so i think somewhere around here looks good now there is one more thing you can see that all of their positions are like completely coinciding with these so we can press p and let's just make them 3d as well now let's press p again and i'm going to change their value to something like this so we can like set it to negative and as soon as you are able to see this so we set the extrusion to 50 so i'm going to set this to negative 51 now you can see that all of these icons will be visible now our next step is to just parent these to the icons which are below or the shape layers which are below these icons so just parent them one by one so that all of these will like move like that so let's parent it to this now all the icons have been parented now if i press play you can see all of these will move with their respective circle perfect but we want the motion nations logo circle on at the top so for that we can like select all of these layers which we have at this point and let's just place them down below somewhere around here so that the main logo is this mn logo and in case you have like let this hodgepodge sort of thing then we can just simply select this shape let's press p and we can like bring it little bit 
ahead so something like point one negative minus one or let's set this to negative minus two like that now you can see that everything is behind this so if i press play here we have all the icons now our next step is to animate them so go to layer new let's add a null object now let's place it over here now we are going to parent all of these shape layers so let's just simply select this we can like use it from here so select label group but it will select this layer as well so we can hold on the control key to uncheck this and we have all of these selected now we can parent this to the null and we can select this null press r for rotation let's add a keyframe over here now let's move like somewhere around here and we can just set it value to something like one now if i press play you can see that they will come out and they will start rotating like that but you will notice that all of these icons are rotating as well but we can easily fix them by simply selecting one of these icons let's select the label group now we can like uncheck all of these layers which we have over here so let's uncheck this and rest of them are perfectly selected now we can press r and let's add a keyframe for the z rotation so let's add keyframe for everything now let's go to this point where we have this keyframe now circle is rotating in the clockwise direction with the plus one rotation now we are going to rotate them in the opposite direction so all i have to do is just simply set this to negative one like that now you will notice that if i press play you can see that as we are rotating these icons won't rotate because we have like easily cancelled out their rotation like that now if you think that these are slow or faster then all you have to do is just simply select everything let's zoom out and all you have to do is just simply move these keyframes like far away make sure to move the keyframe for the null as well so let's move them far away now if i press play you can see we have this and we have all of these icons coming out and you can see they are rotating as well now our last step is to like animate a cursor so for that i have this cursor image again i downloaded it from the website as well so we can have this let's add animate it by simply adding a keyframe for its position so in the beginning we can like place it somewhere around here so as this is coming up so something like at this point we can have this keyframe at this point we can have it like over here and after that it will click so for that we can have a scaling animation let's place it over here so let's add a keyframe for scale let's move like a couple of frames ahead by using the page down key or you can just move it like this and let's just scale it down a little bit to imitate the clicking now let's just copy this keyframe and paste it select the keyframes and we can press F9 to ease them. Now you can see that it will click. And as soon as it clicks, we have all of these coming out. But after the clicking, we can like make it go back. So let's select this, press U. And let's go to somewhere around here. Let's select the first keyframe and paste it. Now we can select these keyframes, press F9. Let's change the graph. So we can like make it come very fast. So something like that. And after that, it can move out like this so if i now if i press play you can see we have this circle this cursor coming in and here we have everything coming out perfect maybe a little bit faster and maybe we can like place it over here only now if i press play you can see we have this coming in and after that our cursor clicks and we have all of these icons coming out so this is how you can create these kind of rotating icon motion graphics so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one